guys, picking up my Nissan Rogue. Uh, I'll show you guys. It's a 2008 Nissan Rogue gray and I already did all the paperwork. So just gotta get the paperwork, then we're done. Hey guys, this is fun, 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 man. I'm telling you, man, I enjoy this so much. Like bidding on cars, getting them at auctions and stuff. And I'm actually waiting right now. I got my paperwork here. I gotta give it to the loader. He just brought out some car for somebody. So he's gonna be bringing out my Nissan Rogue. Man, guys, let me show you the key to it. That thing is like fancy schmancy, man. It's a push button start. Let me show you the key. It's like guys, so awesome. Look at this key. Ain't that awesome? I mean, you would normally, this is actual key, like it's a fob and it's a push button start. Like you would expect something nice like this and like one of the nicer German makes or something, but for a 2008 Nissan Rogue, you would not necessarily expect a nice looking key like this. I mean, it's got, I mean, it's got like all, all kinds of stuff on here. It looks like it's pretty normal for a key fob. And the key's actually right inside. You actually press a button and it actually slides out let me let me Guys, slide it check out. it out see like i'm sliding out there's the key inside and you basically just pull on it and it's gonna come out and that's it and you just basically snap it in you technically don't really need it but let's say maybe your battery dies or something you might want to access it from the outside you know you could do that but this has also like some kind of smart doors you come up to it and it just recognize you got the key and you just go ahead and unlock the door which is amazing i really did not expect to get that in the car guys you know if Getting a 2008 Nissan Rogue was not excited. I'll tell you guys something. I just got another Nissan Rogue today uh, from a different auction. I got a Copart auction. I actually made a video recording with the auction going on with the live bidding guys. I got it for a good deal. It's a 2010 Nissan Rogue. It's awesome. I actually got to go pick it up tomorrow. I wanted to pick it up today, but guys, this stuff takes time. I'm right now in Charlotte, and for me to pick it up, that other one, it's in Raleigh. So it looks like I'll have to just drive there really early in the morning get there first thing in the morning get the car get in get out done you know so that's really cool and you, you know how you know how guys I'm traveling all over the country well you know sometimes when I'm traveling I'm actually bidding cars as well and one of the things I always kind of thought you know I win this car but now I got to drive all the way home to pick it up well I asked this uh, guys about it today I'm like look how can I set this thing up to where if I basically told like a you know get like a tow truck guy or somebody doesn't matter family member to go pick up a car how can this be done and like yeah this could be done so just fill out this little paper power of attorney so they become power of attorney they could sign the title for me and I could choose whether to give it to the driver or to mail it to me I'm like yeah, you know just mail it to me you know I'm not even gonna be there it might take for me five days to get it you know who cares I'm, I could wait that you know so that is awesome. I don't have to like waste any time. I could just just have somebody pick it up. And I mean, the only thing I need to ask about it because I have to like have a money order to try to pay him. That's like another thing. Like, how is that person gonna have a money order for me? Uh, you know. So I'm gonna have to work work that little kink out because you know, unless they could set me up for like to try to pay like with my card or something, which they might because. This is already my fifth car in just what like this month basically you know i understand that this other one is a cold part but they had what i was looking for so i got it but anyways guys i'll get back to you once they're gonna be loading me up right there i'm really excited to see what it looks like my paperwork waiting for my ride I was just looking through the fence and I'm like you know what that looks like the like my Nissan Rogue right there that this gray one right here does look like it I need uh, two side doors so who knows but this is the si exactly the same color I just wonder if that's mine there it is my beauty like it looks like it's trying to get the focus on the wrong thing yeah it looks you know awful. guys while we're waiting for him to bring up my car because he's actually bringing up somebody else's car right now uh, I wanted to actually tell you guys one other thing that's pretty cool I already signed up for my dealer class which is gonna take place in Myrtle Beach South Carolina and that's really like awesome because it's gonna be right on the beach it's gonna be August 10th uh, Jason's purse is August 10th so I'm actually gonna go there on August 10th I'm gonna take the class which is eight hours and then there's also gonna be like a seminar that I'm gonna go to and I already bought the tickets and everything so I'm gonna go there uh, so today I'm gonna look for a resort that I'll be staying in uh, once I actually 
Looks like somebody's backing up and I don't think he sees me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to get hit. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to book a resort down there and stay there. Let my family already enjoy themselves while I actually go take that class, which I think it's incredible. You know, I love it. I'm excited about this. So I'm actually going to be getting my license sooner than later. I was planning to actually get it sometime at the end of the year. But I'm kind of thinking, look, I'm already buying like so many cars. Might as well go ahead and pick it up. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exciting news. So yesterday I bought this Nissan Rogue. And after I bought it, I actually sold Toyota Camry. So Toyota Camry is gone. And I'm going to be trying to focus on... Uh, I'm gonna be tr trying to focus on the cars like something like newer like 2005 and up I might have some 2004s but I think the main focus is gonna be like 2005s and up and uh, I have a uh, in case anybody of you if guys if you want this other car that I have I'm pretty practically giving it away I got a you know that uh, that Acura TL I got that's got a basically like a little fender bender the light needs to be replaced the fender needs to be replaced uh, on that one it's a year 2000, like 236,000 miles, 1,300 bucks. If somebody wants it, you can have it. Um, I'm not going to be really dealing with 2000s. That car is like really nice. It's got like a Pioneer uh, DVD player. And it, shoot, those things used to be like a thousand bucks to try to install it. And it's leather. It's clean. You guys probably seen it in one of my videos. If you haven't, just uh, check that video out. That's a really nice car. Uh, I really liked it when I picked it up. I thought it's going to be like, you know, people's going to want that car, you know, plus. I could sell it cheaper and that means you know somebody's gonna be happy you know trying to get it and you know take it to work and stuff but now I'm just gonna focus on more expensive cars but kind of like the mid-range you know like I'm saying like 2005 to 2008 then like the Nissan Rogue I got yeah they're gonna be selling for a little bit more but I think there's a higher chance of selling those as well because people probably like newer cars only I would think about something like here 2000 I just don't care you know that Acura like sounds nice it works nice it's a six cylinder man it's got like i think uh 250 horsepower on it or something like that which is pretty strong but anyways that guy is actually on his way to pick up my car so i'll get back to you then guys there he goes there's my nissan rogue yeah that's the one when i actually seen it hey guys looks like it's loaded what a beauty it is. I got a key. I'm not sure to start it. Десик, ну как нравится тебе? my kids first thing about the auction to check him out after you buy him so that's what they're doing they think we'll love this thing guys this car came with its own vacuum cleaner how about that this interior is actually really nice it is Actual leather. I didn't think it was leather according to the pictures. It looked like it was some leather and it's got red stitching on it. Uh, it's got pedal shifters and the steel wheels. A little, look at that. Pedal shifter. Formula One racing shifting gears. Like that's amazing. It's a, it's a four-wheel drive, four-cylinder car. Here's a, here's a close-up look of the pedal shifters. It's right right behind there. See? Behind the steel wheels. The silver ones. This is Ferrari Formula One. They're the first ones that really uh, engineered this uh, this thing. I'm really surprised to see this in a Nissan out of all places. You would expect to see this in sports cars like, like German makes and stuff. So anyways guys, got my beauty here. Home. It just basically needs uh, some doors. They're actually not bad. Uh, it's, it's locked right now, but I got a, actually the key inside of my pocket. So it actually unlocked uh, because I got the key because of this uh, smart lock system here. Boom, you know. By the way guys, before I actually, you know, register this vehicle or anything, this uh, 2008 Nissan Rogue, uh, let me, let me see that. 
Producer Bandy and Doc. Uh, must be did it. So, anyways, guys, I'm inside of this Nissan Rogue. Uh, it's running right now. Uh, I thought the C might not be working on here, but I actually think it does. It actually does feel like pretty cool, uh, but outside it's a really hot day, so it's kind of like hard to tell. It might need a little like fill up, but in case uh, anybody's wondering, the mileage, well, you just seen it, 187,000 miles. Uh, if you're interested in actually buying this car for me, you can. Uh, I'm going to let it go for $4,000 uh, to anybody that wants it. Uh, and actually, the doors that I actually have here, I already bought another Nissan Rogue, and I'll replace the doors. Uh, they're going to be silver. Um, that's if I don't, you know, repaint nothing or like repaint. I'm not sure like when I'm going to do that. It all depends on timing and stuff like that. But if you guys want it with the newer type of doors, uh, I'll show That's you a wrap, guys. Thanks so much for watching my YouTube channel. And yeah, if you think I'm using my YouTube channel to try to market this thing, who knows? Somebody might actually be out there wanting to actually purchase from their favorite YouTuber like myself. Joking. But you never know. Um, but actually, as I pulled in on my driveway with my uh, van here, there's a guy actually interested in this thing. So he says he wants it. Who knows? You know, because he says he wants either this or the Acura, but he really likes this SUV. So it's, it's beautiful. Uh, I actually just did the test drive on it, and it's a beast. It's four-cylinder, but this thing is fast. But anyways, guys, I'll list every single option that it has. Uh, one thing I really like about it, it's a four-cylinder, it's economical, it's like 21 city, 26 highway. So that's actually not bad. That's what my van does, 26 highway basically. So thanks for watching. God bless you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.